recap for yesterday, we had a circle and we had the angle on the circle. But the angle only made one arc. And we did two times the angle was equal to the one arc, right? That was from yesterday. Now, looking at today's stuff, I'm going to have an angle on the inside of the circle. Not necessarily the center, just somewhere inside the circle. And the interesting part is that the two arcs, or the, the two chords, I mean, that make the angle, in this case, happen to make two arcs. So I know yesterday was two times the angle. That's how I started. So that's how I'm going to start today as well. Two times the angle. In this case, my angle is 89. So I'm going to go two times 89 equals. Now, in this case, I see two arcs. So I'm going to add the two arcs. 127 plus X. Yesterday was two times the angle was equal to the one arc. That's only one arc was made. Now, today, we're going to say 2 times the angle equals the sum of the arcs. I'm going to add the arcs. The rest is just algebra. Looking on that, 2 times 89, I'm going to call that 188. So I have the 188. I mean, 178. I have the 178 is equal to 127 plus x. All right, I just did 2 times 89. Let me subtract 127 from each. So I'm going to get that X is equal to 51. That's it. But it's always two times the angle. Looking at question number two, my angle in this case is X, right? I don't know it. So I'm going to go two times X because it's two times the angle equals, in this case, 135 plus 55, because I'm adding the two arcs. 135 plus 55, we can combine that, that's 190. So I have the 2x is equal to 190, the Bible size by two, x in this case is 95. But always doing two times the angle, the number on the centered, whether it's 89 or x. Whether it's a number or a letter, is two times the angle. Make sense? Yeah. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. But now my angle or my x is not just going to be a simple x. It's going to be a plus or minus in there. I'm looking at the angle. 12x plus 6. Right? The angle. So I'm going to go 2 times the angle equals... In this case, 110 plus a negative 7 plus 11x. And I'm adding the two arcs. The left side, the left side of the equal sign, let me get rid of parentheses. Let me distribute the two. So I have 24x plus 12. On the right side, I'm going to combine 110 plus a negative 7 or 110 minus 7. That's 103 plus 11x. I see X's on both sides. I'm going to get rid of the smallest one. So I'm going to subtract 11 X. So I'm going to bring it to the left. That means I'm going to subtract 12 on the other side. Now on the left, I have 24 minus 11. So that gives me 13 X. On the right side, I have 103 minus 12. It gives me 91. The Bible size by 13 x equals 7. Not that bad. Looking at question number 4, my angle is 125. So I'm going to go 2 times the angle equals, in this case, 50 minus 7 plus 23x. I'm adding the two arcs. On the left side, 2 times 125, that's 250. On the right side, 50 minus 7, I'm going to call that 43 plus 23x. I notice I only have an x on the right side, so let me get rid of the 43 by moving it to the left side as a minus 43. So I have the 207 is equal to 23x. 
Now divide both sides by 23. And in this case, X happens to be 9. 